Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this wonderful looking planet system animation. You can also use this technique to animate an atomic model or a Tesla flying around the earth. <laughs> At first a little information, I'm from Germany and my English and TH are not the best. Okay, let's get started. At first create a new composition and name it planet system and set the resolution to 1080 x 1080 pixels. Create a new shape layer and name it to planet. Double click on the ellipse tool to create a perfect circle. Change the color to a nice looking ochre. Click on the ellipse tool and switch to create mask. Now double click on the ellipse tool to make a mask. Switch to the pen tool and change back to create shape. While pressing shift draw a line above the center of the circle. Uncheck fill and use stroke to set the color to a brighter ochre. Set the stroke width to 100. Now add a repeater to the planet shape layer. Go to transform, repeater 1 and set the position to 0 and 200. Because our stroke width is 100 and with position 200 we have also a distance of 100 between the strokes. The repeater has to be above the circle but under the stroke. Set copies to 6 and offset to minus 3 and make the shape layer 3D. Scale it down to uh, 35%. Now we create a stripe. For this make a new shape layer and name it stripe. Double click on the ellipse tool and set the stroke width to around 30. Go to the ellipse path and size it down to around 500. Change the stroke options from solid color to linear gradient and change the colors to a nice looking gradient. Make the layer 3D and rotate him with pressing R in a cool alignment. Ok, the first planet is done. For the orbiting planet create a new shape layer and name it for example Moon. Double click on the ellipse tool and set stroke to none and fill to solid color. I change the color to violet. As before I reduce in the submenu ellipse path 1 the size to 150. With pressing P on the keyboard you can change the position of our moon. Now create a null object and link the moon to it. Open with R on the keyboard the rotation menu and while pressing ALT click on Y rotation. Type in time times 1000. If we play it now we can see that the moon is just a flat surface. And yeah, that's not really what we want. But for this problem exists a simple solution. Create a camera and set the focal length higher than 50 mm. You can use every focal length you want, but under 50 mm it's looking a kind of weird. Now click on the moon layer and go to layer, transform and auto orient and choose orient toward camera. And you did it! If you want to change the orbit of the moon, create a new null object and link the null object of the moon to this new null object. And play with the rotations. To make it more realistic, activate a motion blur on the moon layer. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and we see us in the next.
Bye.